Northwestern Wisconsin is nearing drought conditions, which of course can pose challenges to local farmers. Alyssa Lyons visited a local farm to find out what obstacles droughts can cause to yield production. But at this point, if you don't have irrigation or some kind of water source, there's not a whole lot you can do except for a rain dance. Crops are digging deeper to find moisture in soil profiles as northwestern Wisconsin is inching closer to drought conditions. Shallow uh, rooted systems, um, some, you know, like the soybeans and some of those, will start to show, show some stress relatively soon if, if it doesn't rain simply because the root system is a little bit um, more shallow which, according to local farmers, could cause financial distress. Hay or corn or soybeans, they all cost about the same inputs whether or not Mother Nature cooperates. I still pay the same for fertilizer and to drive across those fields to cut that hay. Um, so when you get a lot less of the product, it essentially raises the cost of production and makes it harder for me financially. And for a farm like Peck's Dairy Farm, failure to yield a shallow crop like alfalfa can pose another set of problems. <laughs> It, it stinks kind of being a dairy and crop guy right now um, because I'm losing potential income on the crop side and I'm having to pay for it on the dairy side. Peck took planning precautions in case of a drought this season. You know, I did buy some drought variety corn on my lighter ground. I uh, tried to do no-till uh, farming, which basically leaves like the corn residue on top for the next crop because that holds moisture in and suppresses weeds a little bit. But if the crop doesn't yield, neither does the money. I mean, the prices of the crops are above average, and it sure would be nice for me as a farmer to be able to have a good crop and a good price at the same time. If uh, you don't have a good crop, then you don't have any to sell. That price can be as high as it wants, but if you can't grow it, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Now, the UW Extension of Chippewa County says that small grain crops like oats, wheat, and barley are also high risk for yield reduction due to drought.